All right, this is number 24 in Lesson 6-4, page 318. Um, here's the question. The average age of Amtrak passenger train cars is 19.4 years. So I already have my normal bell-shaped curve with mu, average of 19.4 years. If the distribution of ages is normal, so I have a bell-shaped curve, and 20% of the cars are older than 22.8 years, find the standard deviation. If 20% are older, does that mean the area to the right or the left is 20%? To the right. Yep, older would be a larger years. So this area right here is 0 0.20, which tells me that this area is 0 0.30. Once I find that area, I can find my z-score. So I can go into my z-chart, look for 0 0.3000. 0 0. Um, if I can't find that exact number, I find whatever's closest to it. If it's exactly between two numbers, I go to the largest number. So if you look that up on your Z chart, which I don't have handy right now again. Let me grab one. <coughs> so go ahead looking for 0 0.3000. I think the closest <coughs> thing I see is 0.3289. No, take that back. Let me look again. 0.2995. I see 0.2995. Look to the left, look up. You'll have your z-score. 0.84. So the z-score that corresponds with 22.8 years old is, it's to the right of the mean, so it'd be positive 0.84. One, one real common mistake is if you're trying to find a z-score over to the left, you'll forget to put a negative on it. Because you know the chart always gives you a positive z-score, and that's the reason I like to have you draw the pictures. And if the z-score is on the left, you have to make sure you put a negative on that z-score. If you get that, that'll throw your answer out. Oh, God. Okay. Now, what we're trying to find is standard deviation. Well, you know, that's this symbol, lowercase sigma. You can use either formula here. It doesn't really matter. But I try to avoid the one with fractions, usually, and I'm going to go to this one. So x equals my z-score, which is 0.84, times my standard deviation, which is what I'm trying to find, plus my mean, which is 19.4. Actually, do I know what x is? Yeah. X is your real life data value. So x is 19, or x is 22.8. So I know x. I figured out my z-score off my chart. I know my mean from the reading. How am I going to find the standard deviation? What do I do to solve for that? Right. Use algebra. Subtract 19.4 on both sides. So that gives you 3.4 equals 0.84 times standard deviation. And divide by 0.84 on both sides and you'll have your answer. And anybody know what puts 3.4 divided by 0.84? 4.04. 4.04. Or 0.05. 4.05. And what do you think the label would be on that? Is it like dollars, minutes? What is it? Years. Years. Yeah, whatever your x value is and your mean is, that standard deviation is going to be in that same unit. The standard deviation is 4.05 years. So that's what my book says. Uh, yep, that's correct.